All right, everybody, welcome back. Davis Auto Sales in Richmond, Virginia. Got a 2023 Escalade. Before you guys drop off, if you're not interested in Escalade, this will be a pretty informative video. So please watch through it because I want you guys to see a part of the buying process. And two, this is a great deal. But I've been watching a guy that does a lot of TikTok and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. And I find that his... Uh, presentation on vehicles like this are pretty good now he's got his specific things he sells which are like exotics so anytime he gets something that's a little off just like this escalate is a little off of our normal inventory he kind of shows the way that he gets rid of them now this truck came from a good customer of ours he buys a new unit every year he does do a lot of driving so this truck's got 30,000 miles so for 2023, that's a few miles, of course. I think it's 36,000 and some change to be exact. I just pulled the comps on this through what we call MMR, which is Mannheim Market Reporting. Mannheim's one of the largest um, auction and sales facilities in the country. So their information's real good. We can also use KBB, which I did. I did not thoroughly look up this particular VIN number because I needed to know whether it was a premium uh, or what model it was. But with this mileage, 2023 Escalade, it comes up around 77.5. This truck's for sale to the public for 79.95. It has four brand new tires. It also has a leveling kit. It also has been freshly serviced. It also has extremely dark tint, which may or may not work for your particular state. Um, if it needs to be removed, let us know. We can take care of it but it is very dark and it's also on the windshield. Hang on one second. Okay. Um, so in essence, you cannot even as a dealer buy this vehicle as cheap as what we're selling it for because that's 77 and some change. Then you add the auction fee, which is about 1500 bucks. Then you pay somebody to transport. Let's just call that another 500. So we're at two grand. We're already exceeding the price we're asking. Then you're gonna bring home a truck that needs servicing it needs inspecting and it needs detailing. Right there, those three things alone, gonna add another $1,000. Then you don't take in consideration the $3,000 worth of tires and wheels. So in all essence, this truck at dealer cost to go to the auction and buy it and resell it, you're looking at somewhere around 85,000. Now this one is for sale, 79,995. It's a firm price. That is the price that it's gonna bring. Chances are it'll bring it to a dealer. So I've told you guys before, our stuff doesn't sit around watch it if you want one this is one to get this is one of those it's not going to stick around chances are another dealer is going to buy it they're going to transport it they're going to mark it up and it's going to be on their lot somewhere in the 80s heck it might even be in the 90s because it is an esv it is a loaded package um it's got all the options christian what did i just tell you this package this is the platinum premium, premium. so it's the premium esv premium 600 series it's got the tan interior, so let's get to that. Enough talking. And you can see the windows are dark, very dark. We have not detailed this yet. My guy did wash it and vacuum it, but we do need to detail it. I just saw the screen pop off, 37163. Got the big panoramic sunroof, captain seating. You got the key, Krishna? I'll get it for you. All right. I want to light it up because this thing's got a cool dash really cool dash two-wheel drive four-wheel drive got the really nice seats power options heated cooled memory seats quad captain seats let me open the doors it's so dark it's not even hardly showing up good on this video these are the stow fold flip-flop seats whatever the back seats folded down as you can see it's had the big floor mats in it its whole life so uh the carpet's very well protected Rear AC, uh, headrest flip down, rear control for the HVAC and stereo, speakers galore uh, up front here. Speakers. We actually had one of the very first of the new body style Escalades when they changed either in 20, 2020 or 2021 and have loved them ever since. We don't sell a lot of them because they've held a heavy price. Matter of fact, the one we had was so new and they were so crazy during COVID, it was $25,000 over the window sticker. 
this particular customer that I got this one from is who actually got the truck and he wanted a long one. It was a short one. So he got the long one just because he wanted one. He didn't want to wait. And then he decided, well, he didn't decide. The company called and said, hey, my long one is in. So he said, Jeb, you want this other one before I trade it back in? I was like, heck yeah, we want it. So I'm talking about nobody had ever sat in one of these. And my buyer, he's an exotic freak. And he jumped in with me. We went on the first ride. He was blown away um, at how cool they were. It was like a spaceship to us. Now they're, you know, three or four years into market. 22 inch wheels, basically a metric size 34 inch tire, as you can see right there. Wheels are in good shape, they're not curbed up. And again, a beautiful all blacked out Escalade. I have not noticed a mark around it. It's got the 360 cameras, it's got the tow hitch, it's got the parking assist. It should have the self driving feature, uh, which we tested that day also, which was pretty cool. Um, it's not like a Tesla. It's not going to drive itself completely, but it will do a good job of keeping you in the lane, and it does definitely have lane assist. But this is one good-looking truck. The tires, the wheels, and leveling can set it off tremendously. And if you've been watching the videos, you know we got in like six or eight new vehicles, this being one of them. Uh, Viper getting ready to post. A couple Polaris slingshots, a trailer, an excursion, a food, a food trailer. Um, two classics, if you guys are watching, looking. One star, satellite, navigation. Pretty much all the bells and whistles, guys. So we're gonna send this one down and have the dealer do the service and inspection on it. Uh, we just sent our Jeep out to do that too. The video hadn't posted yet. For some reason, YouTube is very slow today, uh, but it explains you know why we do that but i've got a 392 jeep we actually sent it to the jeep dealer for the service and inspection cost us a little bit more my guys have to run it over there same with this one we're gonna drop it off at the gm dealer um, for the factory oil change inspection but that also allows them to check it for recalls it also you know service bulletins anything else they can do um, and heck sometimes our vehicles actually sell when they're sitting there especially this one if they don't have any others at the lot I can promise you somebody's gonna jump in there that feels more comfortable dealing with the new car dealer which is crazy than dealing with us but um you know that's all in what you like you know it's a it is a feeling they sell new cars what are we just an old used car dealership you know who are we but anyway you're buying the same product no matter what we feel like we're representing them very well and this is a great truck his new one is in we'll have his new one coming so if you want to wait a year and get that one that one's gonna be available too Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia. Davis drives on YouTube, as you guys know. And anything we can help you with, big, small, tall, or in between, even a boat, let us know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And we really appreciate the growth. We're noticing it, guys, and we are doing our best to bring you more content and some of the things that you guys like. Hey, Christian. Say hello. Hi, boss.